in chapter five, lesson number one, integers and graphing. So everybody please be sure that your math book is open on page 345. The bar graph, this bar graph, The bar graph shows the amount of money remaining in the clothing budget, budgets of four students at the end of one month. A value of negative two dollars, the sign is called the negative, you can say minus. Negative two dollars means that someone overspent overspent the budget and owes owes money owes his or her parents for two dollars so if you have money with you you don't owe anyone if you overspend you are owing your parents with this amount so this bar graph shows four students, Berto, Elijah, Jenna, and Myron. And this is the zero level. Zero level means you don't have money and you don't owe anyone money. If you are above the line, above the line means you still have money with you. If the bar is below the line, means you owe money. You owe money to your parents. So, we are asking question now. What number represents owing $8? What number represents owing $8? Means negative eight. Because owing below the zero and below the zero, it will be negative. What number represents having $5 left? So it's just five. And sometimes we say positive five. But we never write the positive sign because we know if the number has no sign means it is already positive. So no need to write positive, you write just five. Who has the most money left? The most money left is Petro. has the most money left. Petro has the most money left. <clears throat> Who owes the most money? Owes means below the line, below. So it's minor. Owes the most. So we extended the number line now. We know that all, all numbers 
to the right of zero, they are one, two, three, four, five, and six, and so on. Now we have numbers to the left of zero, means their value will be in negative, like negative one, negative two, negative three, negative four, negative five, negative six, and so on. Zero is exactly in the middle. It's neither negative nor positive. All positive integers are to the right of zero. All negative integers are to the left of zero. Opposite numbers, opposite when I say opposite, opposite numbers means two numbers, but they have different sign. Means like positive two and negative two. Like for example, positive five and negative five are opposite numbers. So opposite numbers that are the same distance from zero in opposite directions means uh, if you move five steps to the right, you will find positive five. But if you move five steps to the left, you will find uh, negative five. This is what do we mean by the opposite. So when I ask you for what is the opposite of three, you will say, oh, it's a negative three. What is the opposite of negative seven? Oh, yes, it's a seven, which is positive seven. But I told you, we don't write uh, the positive sign. It yani means it's seven. So positive seven is seven. Now, let's talk about this situation. Write an integer. An integer means you need to pay attention whether it's positive or negative. Write an integer for each situation. Explain the meaning of zero in each situation. A 10-yard loss. 10-yard loss. Loss, of course, means negative. So this is negative 10. What does it mean, the zero? Zero, in this case, represents no yards lost, no yards gained. Example two, four inches of rain above the normal, above normal. So it's positive four. So you just write four. Okay, what does it mean? The zero integer in this case, zero represents the normal amount of rain. Not above normal, not below normal. A $48 deposit, deposit, when you deposit money in your bank account, means your, 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 balance, your balance of money increase. And when you withdrawal, withdrawal means take your money uh, from the bank account, your balance degrees. So we have deposit means you are putting into, into your bank account. We have withdrawal, withdrawal means you are taking money out from your bank account from ATM or you go to the bank and you withdraw money and so. So a $48 deposit, deposit, it will be 48 in positive, of course, because you are adding money to your bank account. You are adding money to your bank account, so it will be 48 in positive. Now, what does it mean? What does it mean? The, the zero situation in this case, so zero means in this situation, the integer zero represents no, no deposit. No with draw. Moving on. Write an integer for each situation. Explain the meaning of zero. So I'll solve A here. Again of $2. So this is just two. Means positive two because you are gaining. Now, what is the opposite word of gain? means loss. So zero means zero means no gain, no loss. 
problem B. 10 degrees below zero, below zero. So this will be negative 10. Or you can say minus 10 is up to you. Negative 10, minus 10, the same. Okay, in this situation, zero means what? Zero means not below. not above so when you are talking about zero you mention the word and you mention its opposite you mention the word and you mention its opposite graph each set of integers on the number line how easy so we put a dot for the negative three and another dot for the zero and another dot for the negative two and another dot for the four now for problem d we put a dot for the eight you just need to pay attention whether it's positive or negative. You put a dot for the negative six, a dot for the negative nine, exactly between negative eight and negative 10. And a dot for the five, exactly between four and six. How easy, how easy math is. We should give thanks to Allah that math is so easy alhamdulillah moving on in the guided practice on page 348 Write an integer for each situation, explain the meaning of zero in each. 15 yards gain, so this is positive 15. And zero means no gain and no loss. loss of two hours so this is negative two zero means no gain and no loss graph each integer or set of integers on the number line so you need to put numbers here first then you plot the negative two let's say that this is zero in the middle to the right of zero is one, then two. To the left of zero is negative one, then negative two. Then you plot the negative two. Here, also imagine that zero is in the middle. And this is one to the right, then two, then negative one to the left, then negative two, then you plot the negative one. You plot the one, you plot the zero. Pay attention because not all the time, not all the time uh, zero will be in the middle. Imagine that I asked you to plot the points, let's say, plot the points, negative 12, then negative two, then zero, then two, for example. So you will draw a number line and to reach negative 12 on the left easily, try to make the zero here to the right a little and you can make a scale as well. Don't move by one, move by two. So our step is two now. So zero, two to the left will be negative two, negative four, negative six, negative eight, negative 10, negative 12. 
So you can move the zero anywhere. Also, you can make a scale so that you can plot your points easily. Now, in problem five, the data set positive 5, 0, negative 50, negative 15, positive 20, shows the number of points Delaney scored on each hand of a card game. Graph the scores, explain the meaning of 0 in this situation. Let's graph the scores. Very easy. So we need to reach positive 20 on the right and we need to reach negative 15 on the left. So one of the smart students will say, okay, if I move by five, if I sit, for example, zero here, then I move by five, I can reach 20, that's right. So your scale now is five. So five, 10, 15, then 20 to the left negative five, negative 10, negative 15, negative 20. Now you can plot the points. You have positive five, which is five. You have zero. You have negative 15. You have positive 20. Very easy plotting for the positive and negative numbers. Now, please, if you have any question, please write it down in comments.